Hey guys, what's going on? The real OG Nick here, bringing you guys another video. And today, guys, I'm starting my new series on Siege, uh, of a operator in depth series. Now, in this series, I will go through every operator, both attacking and defending, and talk about their loadouts between their weapons, their gadgets, their pros, their cons, who counters them, and who they counter. Now. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, I know some people have done it before, but I feel like I've gotten real good grabs from every operator over the um, months of playing this game. I hope you guys can enjoy this. A little bit something new. So let me let me know what you guys think about this. Now, to start off, we're going to go with one of my favorite operators in the game, Sludge. I absolutely love Sludge. His hammer is absolutely amazing, and he's just so fun to play with. Now, as far as weapons for Sludge, he has two options for his primary. He has a shotgun and an assault rifle. His shotgun is an M590A1 shotgun. It's a 12 gauge pump action shotgun that's uh, favored by the SAS. And it's obviously a close range weapon. Now it is a good option. Preferred for me, I don't care for shotguns on offense. Reason being is because you want to try to keep your uh, distance and try to keep away from the enemies and try to hit them off from long range and try to uh, get them out of their areas. So I personally don't like the shotgun, but I love his assault rifle. His assault rifle is an L85A2. It's an uh, assault rifle favored by the SAS for medium to long range combat. And it takes a 5.56 times 45 millimeter rounds. Uh, it has 45 damage, 670 um, RPM, 50 mobility, 30 ammo at base. It is a pretty accurate weapon. Now, as far as mods that you can uh, have on it, personally, I am rocking a compensator, a laser, vertical grip, and a holographic on here. I always like a holographic. It's kind of my preference for sights. Um, so that is what I'm using on the primary end. For the secondary weapons, he has the option of a P226 MK25 handgun. He also has a option for SMG11 machine pistol. Now, I absolutely love the SMG11. It hits pretty hard with 32 damage, and the rate of fire is out the window with 1270 rate of fire. And it has uh, uh, 50 mobility. Uh, the capacity is 16 bullets. It's kind of uh, low, but this weapon I use a lot for when I'm going up real close. This weapon absolutely shreds enemies up close. Now, you may not get a headshot with this, or you may because of the recoil. But if you, even if you don't get a headshot, you absolutely shred uh, players due to the fact that your RPM is through the roof on this, guys. So that's why I like that. And for the final uh, uses of him, the gadget he can use is either the stun grenade or the frag grenade. I go with the frag grenade. It is absolutely an amazing option. And it really, um, he combines well with Thatcher because Thatcher can get rid of, of Jaeger's, um, like, grenade stoppers and stuff like that. So uh, you can definitely uh, use the grenades at that point, get kills, or just get people out of the uh, room, out of the area, so you can quickly get them to run past a door or a window. You can quickly take them out that way. Uh, extremely useful um, thing to have. Some grenades are nice too, but Frag, he's one of the very few operators that can run a Frag grenade, so I say take your full advantage of it. Now as far as his special ability, what Sledge can do is in his name. He can use his hammer to knock down any walls or castles in the game. So, um, as long as it's breakable, he can break it. Now, the only thing that really counters him is the fact of um, reinforcements. That's the only thing that counters him in any way because of the fact that that's the only thing he can't go through that is breakable. He can break down floors. He can break down um, any walls. He can break down castles, doors with one swing. He can break down any of that. He can break down trap doors as well. So, he's an extremely versatile character as in you do not need... Uh, to worry about castle even if there's a mute there he counters mute perfectly all he only had need a thatcher at that point you can just have sludge come over knock down a window or a wall and back out of there and he can go keep doing his thing or you can uh, work on trying to assault that area in the map now he is absolutely that's why i love him because you can play with him so well and he's a really easy character to get used to and he you can cause so much havoc so quickly. Now, if they are, if they didn't reinforce a particular wall, you can quickly knock two to three holes in that wall, knock off the door, and now they're extremely exposed. And you can take a huge advantage at them. That's why I love using him for. You can definitely cause havoc against anybody. You can get into entrances without making a huge explosion happen where people kind of know where you are. Now, if someone sees you break down a wall, obviously they'll know where you're at. Or if they're close to something here, you can hear when Sledge uh, hit something. But if you um, hit a wall where no one's really near or they're not paying attention, you can easily uh, sneak up behind them and take full advantage of that and his ability. 
Now, his weapon, uh, his sledge does kill people, but really, it's never a really good option for me, uh, in my opinion, to go for it, due to the fact that, honestly, um, you're not ever going to get a kill like that, unless they're down and you just want to be a, a show-off, <laughs> and with the sledgehammer, it's a funny thing, so I think it's kind of fun to do that, but um, overall, and uh, the thing with him is he combos with any group on attacking, he can play with any group and be very, very good. Whether it's um, he's comboing with Ash, a Thatcher, um, a uh, IQ, she can, she can tell you where things are to avoid it, and anything like that. She's a great. He is a great character, and the fact that if you pick him, you know you got a solid character that will work with your team well, and you can really communicate. So, say you have someone outside a grappling window. They can hit that uh, once, have people focus on that, and then bam, you can take out two holes in the wall in that time. So you can really, like I said before, you can cause havoc against them and really make sure that you take full advantage in his hammer that has a lot of health too. A lot of people say, oh, it goes down quickly. It does not at all. The hammer lasts a really long time. You honestly have to try to uh, wear it out, to be honest. You really have to try to. Um, and say, so guys... Hope you guys think that he's a great character. Uh, enjoy some of the gameplay in the background. He is absolutely one of my favorite characters in the game. Uh, attacking, probably my favorite in general. Besides Thatcher, maybe, because Thatcher is so useful. Um, like I said, guys, as far as counters for him, the only real counter to him is possibly, like, Jaeger. Due to the fact that Jaeger can um, d uh, take care of his frag grenades and uh, make sure those don't go off. And like I said, reinforcements are the only real counter to him, too. Um, he hasn't countered too many things. Um, in terms of walls because he can break them down but castle is definitely a huge counter to him um, he counters uh, castle great because once doing in that castle is gone so it's a really strong counter for that um, so yeah guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below maybe a little bit quicker video let me know what, you, uh, what kind of operator you want to see next I will be working on a rook video today as well so please let me know in the comments below what you guys think and if you guys enjoyed please like comment and subscribe if you didn't please hit that dislike button and let me know what i can do in the future to change um my channel and the series to upgrade the series a little bit more um anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed and uh yeah have a great weekend have a great day i'm real genic and i'm out peace